one thing a lot of people have said over the past little, like, short while, um, near me, if not to me, is that beauty is basically everything. If you're not, if you don't look good, you fail. How's it going, everyone? My name is Dave, and welcome to another Discussions and Rants video. Based off what I've already uh, said, you probably already know where this is going. Um, I'm going to make this one actually very brief, unlike normal. Normally I go on long tangents about it, like 10 minute tangents, but I honestly don't think there's much to say about this particular topic. Um, what made me think about it, think back about what I'm referring to in the first place is I was looking online for very specific topics to go over. Um, because I couldn't make one that was suggested to me work properly. So I'm still working on that particular one that you'll find out in the future later on. But I came across the question, why is beauty associated with morality? Is it though? Mentality, yes, definitely. But morality? I think that has more to do with like the stereotype where... Or not the stereotype, but the whole statement that goes, you have to be beautiful to um, succeed in life or whatever. It's not true. I mean, if it's like, if your morals are hideous, that's a different thing. But if you're physically hideous, there's those, like, look at me. I, I don't care. I do not care. I could look, I could have zits all over my face and I wouldn't care. Okay, that's over exaggerating slightly. I would care if it was that much because it would cause problems under a different front. But my point is, is just that beauty should not be taken as serious, at least to me. Uh, that it is. I can understand why people would take it serious for like the for appearance sake when it comes to like a job or something important like um, going to a funeral or going to a wedding stuff like that that I get but if you're just going hey my life is a failure in general if I don't look beautiful that's just stupid uh, I've come across so many people who are just like, I'm hideous, so I failed. Like, good example would be another platform, TikTok, where I've come across so many people who's just like, there are literal sounds on there that go clap. Like, there's one that's like, like the happy and you're not clap your hands kind of thing. It's just one thing in that instead of repetitive multiple of the same thing, in that one thing is it, it, it just puts the person down basically saying if you're in cosplay because you don't think you look good and every time I hear that particular sound I'm like this is bull this is ridiculous I literally go looking for videos that the person might have where they show their real self and Every single time I do, it's it's always in here. It's never reality. It's always in here. And it's just sad to see. I, the human, humans in nature, I think, are beautiful in general. I, like, there's not one I could come across where I'd say, ugh, no. I, there, there really isn't. I, so either I've been getting lucky to meet hundreds and thousands of people, all of them look great, or it really is all just in here. And quite frankly, I'm pretty damn sure it's all just in here. But I don't know. I, the beauty, beauty is kind of a big thing. Um, beauty can come from what's up here. Or in here, this is a bit above the heart where I'm actually pointing, but my point is, like, you can't take beauty as what the world shows you it is, which is just appearance 
is everything because appearance don't mean shit. The only thing appearance is going to get you is a job that you may or may not end up hating. The only other thing I can imagine appearance would get you is probably into a situation that you probably would inevitably not want to be in. From my own personal experience, I can say that that's the case, but for other people, maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm not going to talk too deep about what I just brought up, though, so please refrain from asking about that in the comments if you can. Uh, if you do ask, I won't delete it, but I'm not going to respond. Not even in video form. Maybe in the future I will. Like, distant future, but for right now, no. In any case, I, I don't know. Beauty is something that should be taken a lot more loosely than it actually is. It's taken to an extent that, like, scares me, honestly. Beauty should be something that, sh like, a lot of people t put it first. And I'm not, when I say beauty, I'm not referring to, like, just women looking beautiful. I mean anybody. Anybody putting their appearance before anything else. And it's, it's really upsetting to watch, in my mind. Like, I've had several different relationships, and if you're talking about physical appearance, I can definitely guarantee that a couple of them were not good when it came to, like, appearance in general. Let's see, in total, I've had, well, let's see, the one I have now included and this is just numbers of how many relationships the one i have now is actually i honestly think she, uh, she looks beautiful but that's not my point um five relationships well with relationships with five different people six relationships technically but five relation five different people um and the second one, which was between, it's very convoluted. Let's just put it this way. I've been in a relationship with one guy, and he did not look good. And there was one girl, one of the first relationships I had in the state that I'm living in right now. In-person relationships, I should say. Don't do long distance, guys. Bad idea. But... Um, one of the in-person, one of the, f the first in-person relationship I had in the location I'm living in now, not the best looking. If this person finds this, sorry, but it's just, it's a fact. One that I, those kind of things I always push aside because honestly, I don't look at appearance. I look at what's in here. That's where my beauty is is set at least other people can be on different fronts but you know what I honestly think the idea that taking physical beauty uh, as a must is stupid you should have the beauty that's within the heart and the mind in other words your personality and how much you care about someone Otherwise, you're a hideous person. At least that's how I say it, how I see it. If you don't care about anybody or how things turn out, and you your your personality is just all over the place, then, and I mean not to you, because, like for me, like if let, let's use this as an example. If I were to give my own opinion about myself, and that opinion was, I don't have a straight, narrow personality, it's all over the place, it's basically multiple personality disorder, that kind of thing, and I hate everything. If I were to say that, then yeah, I'd be a hideous person. That's kind of what I mean. But... And that's kind of what I meant when I was talking about the earlier. I, it might have been a bit confusing. The people who end up being 
actually physically unattractive to me are the ones who are unattractive in those senses as well. The guy that I've been with and that one female who I was with who... She had, they both had such conv convoluted mindsets that it, it impacted my, you know, the way I saw them in general. That's just why I think people who go, my appearance matters more than everything else. That's why I think they're wrong. Because when they focus on the other aspects of them, no one will pay attention to the appearance anyway. At least that's how I see it. That's what I've experienced. That's what I've seen from others and from many different experiences of my own. However, what do you guys think? I'm very curious. Um, if you have any thoughts that'll lead to any hateful comments, please don't put them down below. But otherwise, feel free to comment on whatever you think about this topic. Um, I might not be fully accurate on this, I know, but... Still, nonetheless, I don't think I'm much... I'm, I don't think I'm far off either. But let me know what you guys think. If, also, if you guys do want to check out any other topics that I've done, philosophical topics or discussions and rants, just kind of in general, I'll have a link to that up on one of the sides. I mean, I'm never going to get used to this. One of these two will be that, and the other one will be a random game that I'm either playing now or I've played in the past. Uh... A lot of that is nostalgic, so you might like it if you like the feeling of nostalgia in general. In the meantime, though, um, just doubling on this, if you did like the video, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to check out more of these kind of philosophical do uh, topics, which I do almost every single week. I only miss out when I'm doing things like reactions or stuff like that. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head out, but I'll see you guys later. Bye now.